uh, there were there there were five five pairs that came up to be uh, statistic statistically similar in, its, in their image quality scores, and the only uh, common pair between minutia count and image quality that were statistically similar was S3 and S4, and uh, you can you can see that. S3 and S4, they were they were both of uh, optical touch type as well. So once once the minutia count and the image quality analysis was done, the final step was to actually see its impact on on the performance of the system. What happened to the false non-match rate when you actually compared the native data sets to the uh, interoperable data sets? And here you just see a schematic of of uh, of the process that was performed to calculate the false non-match rate. Uh, to, the, to the left, you see the matching operations that, that occurred. To the right, the, the matrix that is shown on top, uh, all the cells along the diagonal that are highlighted in blue indicate, that, uh, indicate the native data sets. And all the cells that are off the diagonal basically indicate inter interoperable data sets. And using the match scores, the false non-match rates were calculated for these native and these interoperable data sets. Again, the idea behind this matrix was to, uh, was to be able to see all these results in, in a single tabulated format. Uh, I know there's, there's quite, quite a lot going on in this, in this matrix, but uh, I will I'll try and point out the, the uh, interesting results from, from this. So along the diagonal, you see all the uh, native uh, native data set er error rates. This is where enrollment and test images were captured using the same fingerprint sensor. Now for the combination of S5 and S9, that uh, orange, dark orange box that you see, uh, what was noticed was the interoperable data set had a lower false non-match rate than the native data set itself. Uh, which was which was very interesting because typically you would you would notice that the native data sets itself should have uh, the lowest false non match rate but here the interoperable data set had a had a better non match false non match rate so that indicated that there was uh, something interesting happening in there and the cells that you see in in blue uh, the vertical and the horizontal cells very a very 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 high false non-match rate was observed for all the interoperable data sets that were formed with S8, but the native uh, error rate actually seemed to be uh, similar to seemed to be in line with with some of the other native uh, error rates that were observed. So, so this so this very clearly indicated that that something something was going on with the S8 data set. Uh, which was not observed with the other data sets. So the previous uh, matrix identified a way of looking at the false non-match rates, but just looking at the numerical value of the false non-match rates uh, tells you which one is better and which one is worse. But in terms of uh, statistical similarity, it does not tell you a whole lot. So in order to see which error rates were actually statistically similar? Uh, a test of homogeneity of proportions was uh, was per was performed, and if you're if you're interested in reading more about it, it's called the Marascolo procedure. Uh, you'll find plenty of documentation and uh, literature on this particular methodology. So the idea was to see which t pairs of data sets actually had similar had statistically similar error rates. Again, the way to actually read this particular uh, matrix is similar to, to the previous ones. If the values are less than 0 0.001, then uh, the two pairs were, or that particular pair was not statistically similar. But if the value was greater than 0 0.05, then the pair was uh, statistically similar in its error rates. So uh, what, was, what was observed uh, here was the data sets that were formed using S9 seem to be statistically similar with with all the all the other data sets, and we noticed that S8 was not statistically similar because 
they had error rates of 98 and 100 percent. So that was that was kind of a given, going uh, looking at this particular data set, this methodology. But you also notice that S2 and S1 had statistically similar error rates. Um, going back to the image quality and the minutia count analysis, this particular pair did not show a statistical similarity of minutia count or uh, or image quality. So, so again, there was there was something more going on than just the impact of minutia count and image quality on the on the final error rates. So, in order to uh, further drill down and see see the uh, what else was going on with, with these data sets, a consistency of placement measure uh, was was created. And like I mentioned before, the interaction with the different sensors can lead to inconsistent placement. So we decided to look at the metric consistency, which was if a core is detected in a pair of fingerprints, then that particular pair of fingerprints is said to be consistently placed. Now what is a core? Uh, the core is defined as the point that is uh, on the innermost ridge of the fingerprint, or the point on the, f on the fingerprint ridge with the maximum curvature. Uh, these are two, two uh, commonly used definitions of the core. And why is this important? Uh, so towards the top left, you see the core, core was detected in both, uh, in both images, where the samples came from different sensors and that was correctly verified. Uh, towards the top right, you see the core was detected in, o in only one image, and the samples came from different sensors, and it was incorrectly rejected because of inconsistent placement. And towards the, uh, towards the bottom, you see that the core was detected in, in none of the images, but the samples came from the same sensor. And you saw that, and we saw that the, uh, the pair was correctly verified. So, so that, there was some kind of a relation with the impact on, or the consistent placement on the uh, error rates. So then we just created a scatter plot of the uh, percentage of pairs of prints with, with cores detected versus the false non-match rate for the interoperable data sets. And we saw a trend where the higher the percentage of, uh, of pairs of prints with the core detected, the the lower was a false non-match rate, so it's, there was there was a clear relation between uh, between consistency of placement and reduction of the false non-match rates. But there were two two points that were outliers, and uh, the data sets S6 and S1 and S1 and S6. So that those those two were were, were clear outliers to this uh, to this phenomenon. So then uh, we. We looked at uh, the impact of image quality on inter interoperable F, uh, false non-match rate, and the idea was to remove the lowest quality images from from the interoperable data sets, and see what kind of an impact it had on the false non-match rates. The idea was that if you remove poor quality fingerprints, then you should see an increase or an improvement in the performance. So let me just quickly skip through this. This was just uh, the numerical analysis. The test of homogeneity of proportions was was rerun on the on this new data, on these new uh, false non-match rates for the data sets that had good quality fingerprints, and we we did notice uh, an improvement in in the false non-match rates in absolute terms, but in relative terms for pairs of data sets. We did not really see an improvement in um, in the false non-match rate, and what what we were hoping to see was that uh, data sets would be more statistically similar in their false non-match rates once we removed the f uh, poor quality images. But in fact, we noticed the opposite. There were more data sets that were not statistically similar in the false non-match rates when we improved when we removed the uh, poor poor quality prints, and data set S6 and S4 and S6 and S7 actually identify those. So once we, once we looked at the image, image quality issues, uh, the final step was we looked at the uh, deformation model. Uh, this, this went back to looking at the S8 data set, which had a very high interoperable false non-match rate, but a very